one on one tutorial ba ang hanap mo? Tara, pag-usapan natin kung paano mag-solve ng permutations at iba pang shortcut methods nito. Simulan na nating manood, makinig, mag-enjoy, at syempre ang matuto. Hello mga katuto, welcome to one-on-one -on -one tutorial. Ang lesson natin ngayon ay permutation. Permutation is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangements in a set when the order of the arrangements matters. The permutation of n objects taken r at a time is p n comma r or the permutation of n objects taken r at a time is equal to n factorial over the quantity of n minus r factorial where n is greater than or equal to r. Ibig sabihin, yung value ng n natin ay dapat lagi siyang mas malaki kaysa sa r or pwede silang magkapareho. n is the total number of objects. r is the number of objects used and the exclamation point that is what we call the factorial. Subukan natin mag-evaluate ng factorial. Number 1, 5 factorial. Ibig sabihin, this is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, pag minultiply natin itong 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, that is equal to 120. So, meaning, 5 factorial is equal to 120. Number 2, 7 factorial. Pag i-evaluate natin itong 7 factorial, magsisimula tayo sa 7 hanggang sa 1. So, this is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, this is 5,040. Uh, let's have an example of permutation. Five runners are running a race. In how many ways can a gold, silver, bronze medal be awarded? So, identify muna natin yung value ng n. So, the value of n is 5. Ito yung five runners. Then, yung R naman ay yung 3. Ito yung gold, silver, and bronze. So, i-arrange lang natin. So, this is gold, silver, and bronze. Dito sa gold, meron tayong 5 runners ang pwedeng ma-awardan ng gold medal. Dito naman sa silver, since meron na tayong gold, so from 5, magbabawas na tayo ng isa, so magiging 4 na lang ang pwedeng makakuha ng silver medal. Dito naman sa bronze ay magiging tatlo na lang ang pwedeng ma-awardan ng bronze medal. So pag minultiply natin itong 5, 4, and 3, this is equal to 60 ways. Subukan naman natin gamitin ang ating formula. The permutation of n objects taken r at a time is equal to n factorial over the quantity of n minus r factorial. By substitution, the value of n is 5, the value of r is 3. So this 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and this is equal to 120. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 then factorial so that is 2 factorial. Then 2 factorial is equal to 2 times 1 and that is equal to 2. Then 5 factorial is equal to 120. Then 5 minus 3 factorial is equal to 2. Then divide these two numbers this is equal to 60 ways which is also the same here na kung saan pareho siya dito sa ating unang ginawa kanina. Okay, so let's have another example. Given the seven letter word objects, O, B, J, E, C, T, S. In how many ways can we arrange the letters four at a time? So identify natin yung N, which is seven, yung seven letter natin. Then yung R natin ay yung four. By substitution in our formula, so we have n factorial is equal to 7, r is equal to 4. Then, 7 factorial, that is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Then, 7 minus 4 is equal to 3, or 3 factorial, that is 3 times 2 times 1, or we can write this one. So, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial, all over 3 factorial, wherein we can cancel the 3 factorial. So, the remaining numbers are 7, 6, 5 and 4. Then if we multiply these four numbers, this is 840. 
So our answer is 840 ways. Let's have another example. Solve for the permutation in each item. Number 1, P 5, 4, N is equal to 5, R is equal to 4. So the, ito yung gagamitin nating formula. Then substitute natin, N is equal to 5, R is equal to 4. Then 5 factorial, that is 120. That is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and that is 120. 5 minus 4 is equal to 1, then 1 factorial is equal to 1. Or that is 120. So the answer here is 120. Okay, next. Number 2. P 10, 3. So N is equal to 10. R is equal to 3. So itong ating formula, then isa-substitute lang natin yung mga given values. Ang N is 10 at yung R naman ay 3. So that is 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial. Meaning, 10 factorial, that is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 and so on and so forth. 10 minus 3 is equal to 7, so that is 7 factorial. So that is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial all over 7 factorial. Na kung saan pwede na natin i-cancel yung ating 7 factorial. So ang naiwan na lang ay yung 10, 9, saka 8. So i-multiply natin yung tatlong numbers na yan, that is equal to 720. So, yung sagot natin ay 720. Subukan naman natin yung shortcut para mas mapadali yung ating pag-solve ng permutation. So, that is P 5, 4, wherein N is equal to 5, R is equal to 4. So, ang gawin lang natin, identify natin yung N. So, N is equal to 5. Then, R is equal to 4. Gawa lang tayo ng numbers na 1, 2, 3, and 4. Since ang ating N is 5, so magsisimula tayo rito sa tapat ng 1 ng 5. Then, pababa siya. So, this is 5, then 4, then 3, then 2. Then, imumultiply natin itong 5, 4, 3, 2. So, that is 120. Which is also the same in our answer in number 1. Okay, next, number 2. Subukan natin yung number 2 question natin kanina. So, that is P, 10, 3. So, identify natin yung N sa R. Then, N is equal to 10. Then, R is equal to 3. Then, gawa lang tayo ng numbers 1, 2, 3. Yung tapat dito sa 1, that is 10. Kung ano yung value ng N natin, yun ang dito yung 10. Susundan ng 9, then 8. Then, i-multiply natin itong 10, 9, 8. So, that is equal to 720, which is also the same in our answer here. Okay, so let's have another example. Find the value of R in each item. P7, R is equal to 42. So, yung R naman ang hahanapin natin dito. So, identify natin yung N. So, N is equal to 7. Pag ginamit natin ang ating formula, i-substitute lang natin yung mga given values. So, P, N, R is equal to 42. Then, N is equal to 7. So, that is 42 equal 7 factorial over the quantity of 7 minus R factorial. By cross multiplication, we have 42 times 7 minus R factorial equal 7 factorial. The next step is kunin natin yung value ng 7 factorial. So that is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So that is equal to 5040. Then divide both sides by 42. So ikakancel natin yung 42. So may iiwan na lang ay 7 minus R factorial. Then divide yung 5040 by 42. So that is 7 minus R factorial is equal to 120. Then express natin itong 120 into factorial. So that is 5 factorial. Since pareho na silang may factorial, so ikakansel lang natin yung factorial. So ang may iwan na lang ay 7 minus R equals 5. Ilipat natin itong negative R sa kabila sa so magiging positive R. Then itong 5, ilipat naman natin sa kabila sa so magiging negative 5. So, 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. So, that is the value of R. Okay, subukan naman natin shortcut method nito. Tignan natin kung ano yung mas madali para sa inyo. Ito bang shortcut method or by using the formula of permutation. So, gamitin pa rin natin yung question number 3. So, P7, R is equal to 42. Ang value ng N natin ay 7. So, N is equal to 7. Then, R is equal to unknown. Since N is equal to 7, so, magmumultiply lang tayo ng consecutive numbers na kung saan yung product niya ay 42. 
So, 7 times 6 is equal to 42. Then, yung R naman, bibilangin lang natin kung ilan yung value ng N natin. Itong 7, so that is 1. Then, yung 6 ay 2. So, therefore, R is equal to 2. Which is also the same using the formula. So, para sa inyo mga katuto, ano ang mas madali? Using the shortcut method or by using the formula? So, nasa sa inyo na yan kung anong gusto yung gamitin. Okay? So, let's have question number 4. This time, gamitin na lang natin yung shortcut method. Ang value ng n natin is equal to 9. So, n is equal to 9. Then, r is equal to unknown. So, ang gagawin lang natin, magsisimula tayo sa 9. Then, magmumultiply tayo ng consecutive numbers. Na kung saan yung product niya ay 3,024. Pag binultiply natin yung 9, 8, 7, and 6, that is 3,024. Then, bilangin lang natin. So, this is 1. Then 2, then 3, then 4. Ibig sabihin, ang R natin is equal to 4. So, ganyan lang mga katuto pag ginamit nyo ang shortcut method. Okay, so let's have question number 5. Find the value of N in each item. Yung kanina, hinanap natin ay value ng R. This time, N naman ang hahanapin natin. Okay, so let's have question number 5. P n, 5 is equal to 720. So, yung r natin is equal to 5. So, gamitin muna natin ating formula ng permutation. Then, substitute natin yung mga given values. So, this is equal to 720. Then, n factorial, since ito yung nahanap natin, over n minus 5, wherein the value of r is 5. Then, by cross multiplication, so 720 times n minus 5 factorial is equal to n factorial. Dito sa equation na to, hindi pa natin pwedeng i-cancel yung mga factorial. Since eto meron ng factorial, eto may factorial na rin, pero yung 720 walang factorial. So ang gagawin natin, express natin etong 720 na ito into factorial. So that is 6 factorial. Subukan natin. So 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Pag binultiply natin yung mga numbers na yun, that is equal to 720. Okay, so makikita nyo rito, meron na silang factorial. So, pwede na natin i-cancel yung mga factorial. So, may iiwan na lang ay 6, quantity n minus 5 equals n. Then, using the distributive property, 6 times n is equal to 6n. 6 times negative 5 is equal to negative 30 equals n. Then, ilipat natin itong n sa kabila. So, ito ay magiging negative n. Then, yung negative 30 naman, pag nilipat natin sa kabila, magiging positive 30. So, we have 6n minus n equals 30. Pag sinubtract natin to this is equal to 5n. So, that is 5n equals 30. Then, to solve for n, divide both sides by 5. So, therefore, n is equal to 6. So, ang sagot natin ay n equals 6. Okay, subukan naman natin yung ating shortcut method. Tignan natin kung ano yung mas madali para sa inyo mga katuto. Ang shortcut method ba? Or by using this formula? Tignan natin. So, gamitin pa rin natin yung ating question number 5. So, p n comma 5 equals 720. r is equal to 5. So, r is equal to 5. n is equal to unknown. So, gawa lang tayo ng numbers 1 to 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Since ang sagot natin dito is 720. So, ang gagawin lang natin, mag-iisip lang tayo ng limang numbers. 5 consecutive numbers na kung saan yung product nila is 720. So, that is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. Na pag minultiply natin itong 5 numbers na to, this is equal to 720. Kunin lang natin yung highest number dito. Since ang highest number dito is 6, so therefore, n is equal to 6. So, ganyan lang mga katuto. Ganyan lang makuha ang value ng n. So, let's have another example. Question number 6. So, dito, gamitin natin yung shortcut method. So, p, n, 2 equals 42. So, ang value ng r natin is 2. Ang n ay unknown. So, yung R natin, 1, 2. Then, yung sagot natin dito ay 42. So, ilalagay lang natin yung 42 rito. 
Then mag-iisip kayo ng two consecutive numbers na kung saan ang product nila ay 42. So that is 7 and 6. 7 times 6 is 42. Then kunin natin yung mas mataas na number dito, which is 7. So therefore, n is equal to 7. So ganyan.